How's it going, everyone? I'm Contemption. Strife of the Eight is here. Opponents have been found. Season starts in a day and 20 hours, which is awesome. I am so stoked. This is my main account. We are going to have a lot of fun. The amount of opponents we have in this KVK is fantastic. I did not realize it was going to be 16 kingdoms. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. We're going to go over all of it. I'm going to show you the map, I'm going to show you allies already. Holy smokes, that is fast. I could not believe how fast it was where it, with people communicating from other kingdoms and quickly finding allies. It was nutty. It was really cool. I'm glad I was a part of it. So let's get through the intro and then let's start looking at the map, our opponents, our allies, the rules. Let's go over everything. It looks awesome. Here we go. Okay, let's make sure everything works, I think. We got sound, we've got picture. I don't have anything up. I don't know if you caught my previous video where I couldn't, I, I didn't record. I heard the sound, but I didn't record the right screen. So that was fun. Um, okay, let's go over opponents found. This is how many kingdoms, like this isn't a mistake. This isn't like, you know, a bunch of different Strife of the Eights. This is how many kingdoms are inside the Strife of the Eight which I find crazy. There is totally different names, which I'll show you. I had to like make my own map as people were talking so that I could follow along because this is so new to me and I am stoked. I love new content and this is 100% new content. I am very excited. Um, shop, I believe is the same. I can't look at it, but I imagine it's exactly the same as Heroic Anthem. Um, rules, rules kind of boring. If you've done Heroic Anthem, you know there's Bastions, you know there's Favor, you know there's going to be Crystal Tech. I'm hoping Crystal Tech's easier to find or easier to get. I, I think the updates already included that. I hope we're included in that. Otherwise, it's going to be an expensive KVK. I am budgeting 500 bucks. So I've got 500 bucks to spend on Crystal Tech, which I know seems like a lot, a lot but I actually spent uh, almost double that last KVK. So going to be interesting. I'm going to keep it at 500 bucks. Um, you got to remember that my packs are a little bit different than American packs. Um, a $6.99 or a $5 bundle, which I think is $4.99 for America, is $6.99 for me. And then you have 12% tax on top of that. So bundles are a lot more expensive for me. 500 bucks is good. That's going to get me all the pop-ups and it's going to get me some uh, modern warfare, I think it's called, when you get a pass uh, unlocked. Um, you can... I'm going to probably go up to just um, the $27.99 pack, which I think is $19.99 in the States. Not anything higher than that. I'm not going crazy, but I do want my tech to be really good for field fighting. That's what I'm going to focus on. I'm not going to do um, technology that helps with rally capacity. I'm not going to do that. If I do rally flags, that's fine. It's 2 million capacity. I can do that no problem. It's with crystal tech that you need it for alliance fortresses. I don't have specialized legendary gear. I have legendary gear. I have great commanders. I don't have specialized legendary gear and that's top tier and you need full crystal tech. So I've got a good budget. I'm hoping not to even get to my budget. I think I could stay under it. I think I could stay to like 300 bucks and still be happy with it, but we'll see how it goes. I'm super excited. As you can tell, I cannot wait. Um, it's a lot of fun. I love heroic anthem. I love KVK of Season of Conquest, and I'm sure I'm going to love Strife of the Eight. It's going to be fantastic. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, you get buffs from holy sites, building occupations, reward system. Yeah, you got season coins, which we're definitely going to be spending right off the bat and hopefully forge at least one more accessory before we start fighting. It'll probably be Mora's Web, which I'm stoked for because I am sure we're going to see XY Nevsky out in the field. And I'm 100% going to target those guys real quick. Um, saved coins. Yep, yeah, I can save them. I already have a lot. And I will I think I can show you that from my inventory. So here's the camp system. And I did name the map. So we'll go over that. But there's normal fire camp, earth camp, wind camp, water camp. And then it starts getting a little weird. We are actually camp Greenwood. Couldn't you just do like life camp? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Camp Daybreak, why not like Camp Sunset or Dawn or 
I don't know, Camp Daybreak, sure. Camp Midnight, that's, you know, that's pretty cool. And Camp Thunderbolt. I don't know who named these, but, you know, it's it's decent, but <laughs> it's also a little bit... The, the Greenwood and the fact that we are... 1937 is part of the Greenwood camp is pretty funny. But anyways, let's... Yeah, so I can't hit shop. I've showed you the opponents. Let's jump back out of here. I am super stoked to get started, but let's show you... Of course, gem farmers are going to start coming back. So I've got a lot of season coins. Now, what I was going to do and why I saved these from Heroic Anthem, I was going to buy Twilight Falls. And that was because I was hoping to be a rally player. I'm not cut out for rally playing. I understand that now. I get it. I tried it. It's not for me. I like field fighting. That's where I'm going to go. If I can get six field fighting marches, fantastic. All T5 troops, definitely looking forward to it. I'm going to stick with Persian Dream. I already have it. I have it from a KVK a long time ago where I really pushed barbs and honor points. Um, it's got troop defense plus 3%. That's all troops. That's cavalry, infantry, archers, and siege. If you really want to talk about siege. Healing speed plus 3%. Can't complain with that. You're talking about T5. I have France as a civilization. I try and get as much healing speed or yeah, healing speed increase as possible. And cavalry attack minus 10%. I don't use a cavalry march. My cavalry that I have is going into rallies to die or garrisons because we have Yadviga. And I hope I said that right. I try. I'm trying. I hope I said that right. Um, Yadviga. I always say Jadwiga. That's obviously totally wrong. Yadviga sounds better now that I've said it a couple times. But I don't use cavalry, so I don't have to worry about that. Twilight Falls is good for the player I am. I have uh, infantry and archer commanders only. Um, I will quickly show you. I'm going to be changing this around again. I am going back and forth. I understand. Um, if you caught my Ark of Osiris's, it was a pretty bleak looking Ark of Osiris. And I'm questioning my marches still. But this is what I have right now. I've got Guan Leo. Fantastic March. Full legendary set. It will have the dagger and Mora's web. He is going to be my Nevsky killer. Um, I've got Gilgamesh and Nabu, which I'm not set on. But we're going to see how they do. They have the full archer set. They've got, um, what is it? Horn? No, I'm not the Horn of Fury. I've got, um, oh, I'm going to have to take a look at that now. A Ring of Doom specialized. And then the 5% skill increase amulet. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. I've got Ramses and YSG with the Horn of Fury, which is going to help with rage. And I think a specialized silent trial. Um, I'm not set on that march. I'm not because I think YSG behind Naboo is better. So I might put Ramses behind Gilgamesh and just use it as a sniping march. But we'll see. I'm going to change this up. I've got Richard and Ethelfled. Super fast march because they both have relics. It has wicked gear. I think they're going to do fantastic in open field. Especially now that they can keep up with the 20% increased march speed from both relics. I've got Charles and Mehmed for now. I've got Mehmed at 5535. Charles has decent gear. I'll show you all my gear. It's decent. Uh, Mehmed is good. He's got the relic, but eventually that will be Harold. And how I run that, whether it's Alex Harold, Charles Harold, or Harold Alex, or Harold Charles, I don't know yet. I'm going to test it. I'm going to watch some videos from other content creators and take a look. These are my five marches. I can easily come up with a six march because I have a lot of commanders to choose from, as you can see. I've got Alex. If I have to, I can do cavalry and just switch up my city skin or something. Uh, I've got options. I definitely have options. Like if I put Alex and Harold out in the field, then I all of a sudden have Charles and Mehmet still. So it's still an option to use that. Um, obviously still working. Mulan, she'll be great when she's done. And then maybe I can then again use Constantine. Right now he's just kind of sitting around. He's in Sunset Canyon. That's pretty much where he's staying right now. Uh, as for gear, like I said, full set. What is it called? Pendant of Eternal Night. I wouldn't have remembered that. That's my Gilgamesh set. <clears throat> this is my Guan set. I have the chest piece unlocked. I just need enough material to craft it. Um, he will have Mora's web, hopefully, before pass is open. I'm going to go ham on barbs when we get into Lost Kingdom, so that'll help me with my material. And hopefully, Holy Night's Treasure comes up soon, this weekend, I think, or very soon. Um, Ramses is looking good. I'm going to work the archer bow 
and then, or sorry, the legendary archer bow and the legendary set boots. That's going to give me another set bonus along with my revival set, which is fully specialized. Um, and you get, you know, two extra buffs from it. So this is going to be my Ramses. I don't think it'll change at all. Um, whether this is on Gilgamesh with Ramses as a secondary, or if this is on Ramses with YSG as a secondary, I still have to play with that. Uh, Richard looks good. I don't think he'll change much. That's probably what he's going to be. Maybe the accessory will change. Uh, put a silent trial on him or something. I'll figure that out. Not sure who. I only have three. So oh, I guess once I put Guan with Moro's web, I can take that off and put it on Richard. So there you go. Uh, right now, Charles Martel has this. He will have the Hope Cloak after when Leo gets the chess piece for the legendary set. So pretty good gear. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think we're going to do a lot of damage in open field. I'm very excited about it. Now let's take a look at the map. Now I made the image. Let's see how this works. Okay, here we go. I'm going to be looking up a little bit because I have um, obviously the game, the beta PC version in front of me, and I've got OBS up top, which is the recording streaming software. Um, this, These are the allies. I named it Midnight Mudslide. I don't think that name is going to stick, but I did it anyways. I figured you got midnight, you got earth, water, and greenwood. Let's just call it trees. It could be a mudslide, right? You got enough water, you got enough earth, you got some trees, you got a mudslide. Probably not the best name in the world, but I'm going to go with it anyways. Um, the power is all I have right now. I don't have um, kills, and I think that's obviously more important. You could have 20 billion power and... Um, the lowest amount of kills within all 16 kingdoms. And obviously you're not going to be as beneficial as a lower power kingdom with more kills because they have more field fighting marches, more people who are ready for war, not as many farmers. Um, so I will get that data soon and I'm going to punch it into this map so that I can keep track of it because I want to be aware of our allies and who we're going to be fighting. Obviously with this map, we're teaming up with Water Camp. So Camp Daybreak, we're coming for you. I did, enough said there's been kingdom mail saying our alliances so i'm not giving away any secrets we're gonna fight let's fight i'm looking forward to it don't even go to camp midnight just just come over to camp greenwood we'll have some fun it'll be great um obviously we have a nice safe zone going north which is awesome i don't even think you can see my mouse but that's okay um yeah we got camp water which is great we get to go up into this zone, which is going to be peaceful. We can farm here. We can farm barbs here. This will obviously be a war zone because they'll always have access to pass fours. Or maybe they're super strong and they're going to block us in. But at least we get to go up here, reorganize, and then fight again later. I think this is an awesome set of allies. I think it gives us a challenge. I think uh, Fire Camp and Camp Thunder Thunderbolt are going to be able to you know, most likely get to this zone where then we'll have to fight in King's Landing. I don't know how it's going to go, but I'm super stoked. I don't know how the flags are going to be built. I'm not a part of a lot of the territory expansion or diplomacy. I got included in it, which was fantastic. And I will help wherever I can. Um, obviously building relationships and just, you know, communicating and making sure we're all on the same page. I will definitely be there for that. But a majority of it's being taken care of other people. And I really appreciate those other people. So thank you, other people. Uh, you know who you are. I don't need to name you. Probably best not to. So other kingdoms don't bug you anyways. So this is the map. Those were my commanders. This is Strife of the Eight. This is the map. I think it's an awesome map. Um, I like how the corners now don't have to face two kingdoms. You can choose which kingdom you're going to fight. That was a huge problem with KVK Season 1. KVK season two, I think they then fixed it for light versus dark, but it's been a while since I played lights versus dark. So this is it guys. I am super stoked. I'm going to live stream the heck out of this war. I have a goal of a 12 hour live stream and I am definitely going to nail that. I've got to send the wife and kids to a hotel somewhere with a pool and a water slide or something, but I'm going to get it done. I am stoked. I think I have some work to do on this account, which is awesome. You know, always motivation to keep logging in and sending out my gem farmers. I definitely think I have some work to do on this account. Uh, let's just get rid of that. Um, Harold is, see the thing with gems, is I want to spend it on Holy Knight's treasure because I do need to upgrade my gear. 
but I also need to spin Herald Wheel. So I've got Herald right now at 511. I've got 560 Universal Sculptures. I have, so I put in 50 or is that 60? I put in 60. I think you need 700 in total. Is it 690 or 700? I can't remember exactly, but I need about 640. 640 sculptures. So I need 80 more by the time we get through passes. That should not be a problem. We got uh, pass glory. We have a while. We have like 20 days before this KVK starts because we've got what? we. This is going to, Eva the Crusade will start in two days. Then we've got six days of that, which is uh, three stages. I'm looking forward to stage two. I believe that's where we get a whole bunch more exhibit coins, which is fantastic. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, let me just fix my camera here. Um, so while I'm probably going to save my exhibit coins. I don't think there's a commander in here that I need or want right now. Obviously, I have JC done. I have Freddy expertise. I have Tao Tao and Mina expertise. I've got El Cid. I don't have Hannibal. Never had the money to spend on Hannibal, and he just wasn't that good, in my opinion. Uh, Mulan will be done soon, probably by next KVK. I hope, depending on my gold key luck. I'm not even going to mention the last two commanders because um, they're not worth mentioning. We'll just we'll just get rid of them there. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this KVK is like. If we get the updates, like the new crystals, if it's easier to get, if barbs maybe give more. I don't know if that's going to apply for us. I really hope it does. Um, but I might be able to spin the Herald Wheel based on the money I'm going to spend on Crystal Tech. So I might be able to spin them a bit, maybe even to like 45, save as many Universal Sculptures as I can. Obviously, I'm balancing working gear and commanders. So it's going to be, you know, hard to maintain. But I'm going to be killing a lot of barbs. I'm going to be getting rewards from KVK. So my gem income is going to be a lot higher. So I should have no issues expertising Harold. I, of course, will need to do some testing on Harold and see where he fits in on my lineup. Looking forward to using him. Uh, I'm not sure who behind, but we will figure that out as time goes. Um, so that's it, guys. I am stoked. I am looking forward to more live streams. I'm looking forward to even the Crusade. I'm looking forward to all of it. So thank you for everyone who came on this weekend. I know it was Ark of Osiris and I lost two matches, um, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. That's how it goes sometimes. Hopefully next match is better on both accounts, but we'll see when we get there. Thank you for everyone who joined me on those. Um, I love the questions and, and the communication between people, the advice some people give. Um, honestly, I'm not, um, I usually reply to every single message that's on there. Um, and I definitely take it all in, whether I use the advice or, or even use my own advice sometimes is, is hit or miss, but I'm trying to navigate the best way I can on this account based on what I have and what I can do. So I'm looking forward to another full month, uh, month and a half of KVK and sharing it with you guys. I hope you come along for the ride and, uh, hit the like and subscribe. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So until next time, guys, thank you for joining me and I will see you soon. Later. Bye.